Yeah, sad for them. And unfortunately, right. uh, you know, well, fortunately for us, Grace is, is not going to hit us. But of course, nope. we're dealing with the impacts of Fred right now. And, and Ella, you saw the trees, you know, the damage that, that uh, Trayson was covering. Yeah, that was from a confirmed tornado down mm -hmm. in Merriweather County uh, just in the last hour. And that's going to be a possibility here in Metro Atlanta over the course of the next three or four hours as the center of tropical depression Fred moves right over us. Live look over Midtown. It is very rainy outside right now. 73 degrees as you step out. It's breezy wind coming in from the east northeast at 20 miles per hour. The airport's picked up about two thirds of an inch of rain since midnight. You can see these rainfall totals are much lower uh, to the north of the city. The heavy rain bands are lifting into the north. So I want to zoom in, give you some totals in some of the major metropolitan areas. Marietta, Cobb County, you've only gotten about a quarter of an inch of rain, so not going to see any flooding on the roadways there yet. Gwinnett County, about a quarter of an inch as well, but Rockdale County, about six tenths of an inch. Still looks good in Rockdale County, but look at this. Peachtree City, if you live in Coweta County, almost two inches of rain definitely going to see some flooding on the roadways and pulling on the roadways. Paulding County as well over an inch of rain in Dallas and these rainfall totals are really going to increase now with the heavy inner bands of showers moving in. You see this band of rain with all of this lightning over to the south of Macon. This is the band that we're going to watch for tornadoes as it lifts into Eatonton, Newton, Walton, Morgan County and potentially East Metro through the morning. Eventually even downtown Atlanta we could see brief spin up tornadoes. E F0 EF1 tornadoes that could cause power outages and down trees as well. Let's zoom in and show you where the rain is the heaviest. Rockdale County, Conyers area. If you're coming in I-20, you're going to be really driving in downpours through the entire way. 75 looks pretty rough as well. If you're coming in on I-20, Douglas County, very heavy rain falling. Doesn't look too bad north of the city. North Fulton County, 400, still good to go. 75, still just some light rain. But again, the heavy rain will really pick up north of the city coming here in the next hour or so. Carroll County, yeah, it's raining very heavily. As far as the wind goes, not going to be a major factor north of the city, but areas south of the cities include South Metro. Could see gusts between 40 to 50 miles per hour for that reason. I Isolated power outages are likely, especially across East Georgia through the day today from gusty winds. What you're not going to need is the air conditioning today because with the clouds and the rain, temperatures will hover in the 70s through the afternoon. Let's take you hour by hour. Again, very heavy rain through the entire morning. By 10 a.m., those rain showers, very heavy across Metro, still falling across North Georgia. By 2 or 3 p.m., the heaviest of the rain has now moved out of Metro. Conditions should slowly get better. For Atlanta and Metro after about 2 p.m., but it's still going to be raining very heavily across North Georgia. And then we finally see the bands of heavy rain move out through our entire state after about 7 p.m. tonight. We will see clearing skies overnight tonight, and we actually are going to get a pretty dry day tomorrow. After these systems move through, we have what we call subsidence, which is sinking air, and that just really usually brings us a nice day. That's what we'll see tomorrow. Scattered thunderstorms. Thursday and Friday and then lower rain chances with very hot conditions as we head towards the weekend. Rodney and I have been tracking the system for a while now. Pretty incredible, Rodney, that we can see such big impacts from these tropical systems so far inland. Yeah, absolutely. The heavy rain, as you mentioned, Ella, and even the uh, isolated tornadoes that are producing damage uh, here across parts of Metro Atlanta. And of course, a big traffic nightmare would take you to Cobb County. This is the ramp from I-75 South to 285 eastbound. It's still delayed because of what was a crash here that was blocking a lane. So a heads up for those of you in Smyrna as you try to take that ramp from 75 South to 285 East headed towards Sandy Springs. You will be delayed this morning. A look at this on the pinpoint traffic map and you'll see that not only do we have delays, but you are also seeing rain in this particular area. So we'll keep you up to date on that ramp in Cobb County. In the meantime, a brand new crash to report in Fulton County. This is 285 northbound at Washington Road. For those of you around Atlanta Airport, you can see where there's some flashing lights there. Looks like that's another crash that's not really slowing you down too much, but it's definitely something that you are going to pass by on the southwest side of town. So it heads up again 285 north at Washington Road as you're leaving the Atlanta Airport area. This is the Cool Ray Road Tracker. Izmir is on 285 northbound around Spaghetti Junction in DeKalb County. And Izmir is moving, but you can clearly see the rain that he's having to deal with. And that road tracker is giving you an idea of what it's like if you do have to get on the road. Although 
we continue to encourage you to not do that this morning because of the weather. We'll keep you up to date on these crashes and we will have more weather and traffic coming up in less than 10 minutes.